Hi, and welcome back to Philly Changer Chats. I'm here today with Karen Copeland of the Arts and Business Council. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so <laughs> much for taking the time out. Yes, to I'm so hang excited because we haven't seen each other in forever. I so. know, I know. This is a really great opportunity yeah, to just sit it is. down. It's a great opportunity. And, uh, but, um, and a good time of year. We're heading into all the events. Yes. Big yeah. season, big events season. And the nice weather. Yes, yes. <laughs> not today, but it will be but, coming up. You know, at least it's not raining, yes. so that's a that's a good thing. Very soon. Um, so, well, before we get like super deep into it, let's let's go at it at the high level. Um, okay. Can you can you give what's your like you know thirty second? Yeah. What's the arts of business? We're council? connectors. We're matchmakers. You know, like Match. dot com. We match. <laughs> we match the business community up to the creative community, so they can learn from each other. It used to always be business people, what the business people can give to the creative community. Now it's a lot, what, what can the creative community give back to the business community? Mm -hmm. Innovation and creativity in the workforce. So we have four programs. We have a business on board where we train uh, business people to serve on boards of arts organizations in the greater Philadelphia region. Mm -hmm. um, and not only new board members, but even existing board members. Okay. that are already sitting on an arts organization, maybe they want to come back and learn, okay. or maybe they never even learned at all, and they got the opportunity to to meet new board people. Okay. And we do board observerships, but uh, we have high level um, um, people training the class, either from the business world, the arts world, or, or professors from Wharton and Drexel mm -hmm. um, and Penn. And we have uh, Philadelphia Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts, mm -hmm. where we match lawyers up with um, individual artists or arts organizations or arts collectives. We have um, technology connectors and business volunteers for the arts. Again, so many things. Business <laughs> people or or, yeah. or or teams of business people up to arts organizations to help in capacity building services. Wow. So uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's yeah. really a, it's a cool gig. I always forget the, there's just so there's no end there's to so the amount many. of things there's that There's so you guys many are doing. things. And so yeah. there are our core programs and then we do um, a creative open house series where we're getting business people to come into for-profit creative economy businesses to learn learn how the creative creative people operate mm -hmm. because everybody needs to learn how to be create you know creative and innovative in their traditional business world yeah. and if they can match make mm -hmm. and connect with each other there's these friendships and an ability to kind of take it to the next level so we're we're about just connecting Oh, I love it. I love yeah. it so much. Um, I went to Drexel myself, so yes. um, so having going from that kind of like design background and seeing more of that like the programming there and just right. what you're doing with like people out out that have graduated out of college, just getting this kind of like design and creativity is kind of like a natural part of the business world is a so exactly important. Exactly, and connecting that up into the business community that's already here and making sure we're utilizing the students. Alan mm -hmm. Sabinson, who's the dean of Westfall, yeah. is, mm -hmm. is on our board. So we make sure we work with all the university, the university of the arts, and again Temple, all of them. You know, we participate them. You know, participate with them in a lot of different ways. But again, either speaking on panels or ways to engage their their students. Mm -hmm. It's all a part of that whole big thing of making sure that the young people are staying yeah. in Philly. And <laughs> yeah, and that they're equipped to, they to don't do things away like better. I did in New York City. <laughs> I graduated and moved to New York City because it wasn't so cool here, but now it's cool. <laughs> now so. it's cool. Now it's great. Yeah, now, now, yeah, now it's cool. Now it's cool. So, you have been through so many different programs and so many different events. Uh, is Only three years, Mo. It's third year. Three We're years, head but I know. so much that, that you've been doing. Um, could you tell us, like, just while we're closing up here, like one little, like, uh, story of something that impacted you, like, as oh you've been... Oh, my God, there's been so many I know, things so that many. impacted me. But you know what's <laughs> interesting is I was watching on the outside from the chamber. I was at the, the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce where I'm vice president. I was watching the Arts and Business Council as an affiliate. And I didn't really understand everything that they did. And it was, mm -hmm. and I think at the time people weren't as into storytelling as much. And it wasn't until I finally took over and I was going, oh my God, like, look at these. It was a Center for Arts and Wood, I think mm -hmm. was the first organization. And they mm -hmm. were kind of circling the drain, not doing well at the time. and. Mm -hmm. And we went in and were working with a strategic plan and, 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 and attached them, hooked them up with volunteers. And by that experience, that volunteer experience, I mean, they were able to 
turn the organization around. I mean, wow. get big funding, o open a new place. I look at Theater Horizon. I mean, there's, there's so many places and so many great stories, and that's really the goal is to be able to get those stories out so more organizations will utilize this yeah. service and say, <laughs> oh my God, there's lines and lines of business people that say, hey, I want to help. You know, I mm -hmm. want to help, I want to be a part, I want to learn, mm -hmm. I, you know, I want you to teach me, and I want to help you with what skills I have. Yeah. So that's what's, that's the thing that's been most exciting for me, and the most humbling really, is the impact that it really has on these, on these organizations, and being able to get those stories out in a more profound way. And I think you guys at Generosity have really done such a great job well, of you. that. You know, like you were so needed in the community to, mm -hmm. to really, um, again, look at those things that are happening and get, get those stories out. And so people can see that more and realize the importance of the work that everybody's doing that's so impactful here. Wow, I love it. There's a, there's, I could, we could talk about this forever. I know, Mel, but we, we have, have to, to meet end. another time. I know, we'll do it another time. Okay. Um, but thank you so much for sure, coming in. Absolutely. I really Any appreciate time. it. Sure, absolutely, I could talk so. more. Yeah, and we, okay. we'll share all this, uh, all this stuff we all didn't even cool get to. All this cool stuff, I know. That'll <laughs> that be we'll for share. chapter number two. That'll yes. be for our next session. Sounds good. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, Mel.